There are programs that just run better on Windows. But you own a Mac and you don't want to jump through hoops to use it. Or you want a spare machine to run Windows programs. What to do? Welcome to the Mini PC Tech Channel, where we talk about all things Mini PC. This is Mike, your host. A lot of programs require Windows to run. And you have a Mac. It's not worth spending $500 to solve the problem and you don't want to deal with virtual machines. But what if you could solve the problem for about $100? If you like videos like these, be sure to subscribe to this channel. There will be links to the products I talk about and a post I did on this in the description below. Why do you need this? Sometimes you need to run legacy programs or programs without a lot of developers involved. Usually you don't need a powerhouse computer. Just something that runs Windows. I'm going to be more specific than that though. I am a retired cybersecurity analyst. You don't want to introduce a hole in your network. That's why I would stay away from anything other than Windows 11. So I would suggest a computer that can run Windows 11. From there, it's a budget issue. I will show you three kinds of machines. First, two machines that do just that. A little light on memory and storage, but very inexpensive. Then two machines that fit the requirements. Enough memory, storage, and support most peripherals with ease. Finally a machine that exceeds expectations for a little more money. But not a lot more. What are these requirements? You want at least a quad-core CPU that runs a burst speed of at least 2.5 GHz. 8GB of RAM, Wi-Fi, and support for at least one 4K display. Finally, you want enough interfaces to connect a keyboard, mouse, an HDMI monitor and maybe external speakers. Why mini PCs? Well, they are small in price and footprint but not in performance. They are not made to be extended. You can add external storage and extend the number of devices connected to them with a USB hub but really the purpose is to solve a problem. Give you a foothold in the world of Microsoft without being intrusive or breaking the bank. So let's look at the five mini PCs. Let's start with the Fusion FMP4 mini PC. This is one of the two low-priced mini PCs. It comes with Windows 11 Pro and an Intel quad-core processor. It is perfect for anyone seeking an affordable and compact solution for running Windows. It has 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. It is only 2.55 by 2.59 and 1.85 and only weighs 0.3 pounds. It can be carried with you wherever you go. It doesn't support a visa mount, but it can easily fit into tight spaces. The second low-priced mini PC is the UXX mini PC. This only supports 6GB of RAM. It comes with 64GB of storage but can be expanded to 512GB of storage. It also supports dual 4K screens. The UXX mini PC measures 46 by 46 by 0.9 and weighs a little over a pound. It also has three USB 3.0 ports. Now that we have looked at two mini PCs usually priced well below $100, let's look at two mini PCs usually priced at about $100. First, the Letsung Golight 11. This also has the limitation of 6 GB of memory. It comes with 128 GB storage expandable to 512 GB. This does not support 4K but has dual HDMI ports. It also comes with four USB 3.2 ports. It comes with a visa mount so can be mounted behind a monitor. At 4.53 by 4.43 by 1.61 and only just under 10 ounces. The second moderately priced mini PC in this group is the BMAX B1 mini PC. It has a dual-core CPU that has a burst speed of up to 2.6 GHz. 
It comes with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. You can expand storage up to a 1TB SSD. It supports up to two 4K displays. It weighs only 8.5 ounces and measures 4.7 by 4.7 by 0.9. It comes with a Visa bracket and can be mounted behind a monitor. Finally, we have our higher priced entry. This mini PC is generally around $129. The B-Link Mini S Mini PC. This is an entry-level version of this mini PC. It comes with 8GB of RAM, 128GB of storage, and a quad-core CPU that has a burst speed of up to 2.9GHz. And of course, it supports dual 4K monitors. So, it is more performant than the others. It can support up to 2TB of additional storage with a 2.5-inch SATA HDD or SSD. It is a little larger than the others at 4.96 by 8.35 by 2.13. It weighs 1.52 pounds. But it comes with a visa mount so it can be hidden away behind a monitor. This mini can also be used as a server as it supports Wake on LAN, PXE boot, RTC Wake, and Auto Power On. And as I said, this is the entry level version. For as little as $30 more, you can find a model with 16GB of RAM and 500GB of storage. If you're interested, check out the links in the description. Remember, as an Amazon affiliate, I may earn a commission from any sales. There is no extra cost to you and it helps support this channel. Remember to comment, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. Until next time, this is Mike, signing off.